guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia Gonzalez, if you are new, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what it's like working at a dog daycare. I don't know why I did this. So basically, I'm just gonna go over the pros and the cons of what it's like working at a daycare. Pro number one, I get paid to be with dogs all day and hang out with dogs all day, and that's just, that's a dream job for me, personally. I love animals, I love dogs, and I would much rather do with dogs rather than people and yes you do have to you know deal with their pet parents but it's a lot different than working with someone like customer service in the food industry when I worked at Starbucks as a barista having to deal with the customers there some of them were like really bougie and they would get really upset over the smallest things it could be just really rude and snappy and I am a canine coach at the dog daycare so I'm really in the back with dogs and it is it is very nice. I am interacting more so with dogs and animals versus you know people one on one with their parents. It's almost been a month here for me, and when I have been there for thirty days, I will get to take my dog to work with me for free every day I work. So that's really awesome because it's literally free daycare. Um, the daycare is actually kind of pricey. It's almost as expensive as daycare for humans. So um, yeah. I'll get to take my dog with me and I'm, you know, I don't have to pay and I'll get to have him be there possibly in the same room with me or, you know, he'll just get to interact and he won't be stuck at home for six to eight hours, which is really nice because I feel really bad when, you know, me and my fiance aren't here and he's just here by himself because we don't have a second dog yet and so he's just kind of here by himself and I don't know, I'm really excited to get to start taking him. Another pro, which this can be a pro or a con for you, it just depends, um, is I'm moving around constantly. Every time I get home, I always have over 15,000 steps, if you can believe it, it's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, literally a six hour, sometimes seven hour shift, I have way over 15,000 steps, so I'm constantly moving. And so I have already, not pounds, but I have seen, you know, size, and then my face, I have already started dropping. So that's really cool, getting a lot of exercise. With my job, um, they're very flexible with your hours. So let's say you were going to school, you know, or you're in high school or, you know, in college or whatever, you have a second job, stuff like that. They are super flexible with hours. They have a morning shift and a night shift. And you just have to let them know, you know, when you're willing to work, available to work, and they will work with your schedule. So I really appreciate that. And I really like that about my job. So here are some of the cons. I feel like the pros outweigh the cons by far, and it's honestly one of the best jobs I've had so far. Uh, it is very physically demanding. I will say that. Um, you don't expect it to be as physically demanding as it is, but like I said, you are walking constantly. Um, as a canine coach, you have to be in the room moving constantly. You know, the dogs, if you're in a room with the bigger dogs, you have to be able to separate them and dogs can be very strong. I am five foot one and I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of muscles. So just getting pulled like a rag doll at times. Um, so yeah, it's very physically demanding, but again, like I said, I feel very much that it is worth it. I love my job. But one of the cons is all of the cleaning. There's a lot of cleaning involved. You have to be able to pick up bodily fluids, including, you know, poop, vomit, diarrhea, blood in the poop, blood in the vomit, all kinds of stuff. You have to be able to pick up all of that. It can be completely different colors, shapes, sizes, liquids. So um, that's one of the cons. It's, it doesn't smell great a lot of the time. The trash can, when you have to take out the trash, it smells horrible because a lot of times you're, you're picking up the poop and then uh, if there's a dog that vomits or stuff like that, which that happens at least once a day, it usually happens cleaning all that stuff. When the dogs don't listen, it can be super frustrating. For me personally, dealing with bigger dogs when they don't listen to me and it's hard to control them just because I'm already a tiny person, but then when they just don't wanna listen and they're being stubborn, that can be super frustrating. You just feel like you don't have control of the room. You just feel like, ah, it's just, it's overwhelming and you're you're trying to, you know, to get it in order and then we have webcams at ours and so the parents are watching and, you know, you feel like you're out of control. It's just like, it's, it can be stressful at times. So running around chaotically, then that's just, it's bad. It can break out into a fight. Dogs can get possessive over you if they really start liking you and growing attached to you. They'll be mean to other dogs and snap at other dogs when you pet the other dogs. So it's just, it can be stressful, but 
it's stressful in its own way. It's not stressful as in Starbucks customer service way. So I would much rather take this kind of stress with dogs versus, again, like I said, stress with people, dealing with more people. Another con is the pay. It's not the best pay. It's not the worst. I'm not going to say how much I make, but it's a little bit over minimum wage here in Texas. But still, for the cost of living in Austin, it's not the best. But like I said, I love my job. I love being with animals. I would much rather deal with dogs versus humans. So yeah, um, I highly recommend getting a job working at a dog daycare if uh, you love dogs. If you can pick up bodily fluids, like I said, if you're fine you know, being on your feet all day, then I would really suggest you, know, you look into a job like that if they have one in your area. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye guys. <coughs>